some women hate their legs. They think they have too much cellulite, they're too jiggly or simply too big. But some women, for example, they have bigger legs than others uh, or maybe they're more quad dominant and it's something that is absolutely normal because we all have different genetics, right? So some people just prefer focusing, for example, on building a certain area rather than another one. For example, building the glutes more than the legs, which is absolutely fine. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want me to create a personalized plan for you, link in the description below. Well, let's get started on this. It's one thing that I need you to understand from here. <laughs> First of all, if you're doing a compound exercise, things like squats, even hip thrusts, RDLs or anything like that, you are going to target your legs. Why? Because anatomically speaking, your glutes are attached to your legs, right? So well, let's say you're training glutes and you're using so much weight and they all think, wait, this girl is hammering me here. I cannot do it anymore. Wait, legs, quads, hamstrings, come and help me. But, 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 but there are ways to make an exercise that is a compound exercise, a little bit more glute dominant. So my lovely ladies that want to focus on our glutes can do these variations. And if you just like Chiara, no, wait, I don't want to just involve my legs at all, like nada, zero. There are also some exercises that I will show you towards the end as well of the video. There are pure glutes, that being said. Let's start with exercise number uno now. Let's go. Let's talk about one of the best exercises for your glutes, the hip thrust. However, it is not just isolating your glutes. Also, bonus tip, how to load the barbell in a minute. You're welcome, right? Hip thrust is a compound movement and especially when you're coming all the way down, your quads will somehow, no matter what, also help and if you just want to focus on your glutes, this is probably not the best variation for you. So let me show you what I actually recommend instead. You want to push the aerobic stepper against the wall so it doesn't slide away and also play with your foot stands to figure out what works best for you. I like to push my feet against the edge of the stepper itself. Any glute bridge variation will be more glute dominant than a regular hip thrust. Things like, for example, cast glute bridges or anything like that, glute bridges in general. But today I'm going to show you one of my favorite variations that I've been implementing because most of the people, whenever they say, oh, I want to do glute bridges, they don't tend to feel them as much. Even my clients, when they come to me, they say, Chiara, I don't really feel glute bridges. But I normally make my clients do this little variation which will help you emphasize your glutes more. So you will need, of course, a stepper or any sort of elevation where you, you're putting your feet on. But one thing that is important is you need to master your pelvic tilt, okay? If you don't do that, you'll probably end up overextending your back, having lower back pain or anything like that. So how do we do it? Okay, so that is me standing straight with my spine straight, spine straight and everything and now it's me tucking my pelvis in okay like so almost like i'm basically reverting and already squeezing my glutes by simply doing this so again without my hands so you can see it better that's me having my spine neutral and straight and now it's me tucking my pelvis in you see the elevation will help you um, increase the range of motion so you can feel way more in your glutes but we'll obviously have to add a twist because you know guys, you, go, you guys know that I'm evil and I always have to make you do the things so that you can really properly feel in your glutes. Let's see if you can already notice what's different. Of course, we have got to correct or the explorer questions type of things, but I've got a resistance band here and this will be used to add more tension to our bunda. Now, I want you to try this with me. So that we're already squeezing our glutes so tensing, the tension is already starting with our glutes, squeezing up towards the ceiling. And then when we get to our main extension, okay, then we'll perform an abduction. So like this, basically open and close 
with the bun. This will help add more tension, even more tension to your glutes. Now time to try it with our weight. Of course, as always, this is a demo weight, but you guys, when you try this variation, you can't go as heavy as you normally do. Just try it always with a lighter weight. So remember, same thing, to tuck your pelvis in the whole time. Before you squeeze up, try not to overextend your spine. If your spine hurts, normally it's because it means that you're going too high up. So try to stop before, okay? We would abduct, then come back and abduct. The band in combination with the elevation will set your glutes on fire. Probably if you're very core dominant and if you don't, want to grow your legs or get them any involvement at all, I actually discourage you from doing squats for purely for aesthetic reasons. A great variation that will help you target your glutes more than your quads when it comes to squats is dumbbell sumo squats. Why? I'll tell you in a minute. But first of all, in terms of the weight, you are holding the weight from, instead of from your back, you're holding it down. So in terms of weight distribution the load is in front of you hands will help you lean over more and if you lean slightly more forward you'll automatically target your glutes you can do it at the squat at the squat rack as well with a barbell but that means you have to be more careful with your lower spine as well so that's why it's much safer for a beginner it's much easier in general to perform a dumbbell sumo squat now as well so how does it start first of all we have to take a wider stance okay you start your position by leaning forward like I told you already okay anyway it will come more natural as you're picking up the dumbbell and just keeping it there okay so lean forward look down the whole time and descend into a squat position as deep as you can and come back nice and easy however there is one way to make it even more effective for your glutes let's just see how I do it okay so there's different reasons as to why I like the squat rack First of all, because it has these little two platforms and as you can see, they're already far apart, meaning that you will force you already to acquire that sumo stance, so wide feet apart. So if you struggle to understand what your stance will, is going to be like, that will automatically help you with that. And obviously, one thing that is very obvious is the elevation for me. And when you increase your elevation, it means that if I'm going down on the floor, obviously the dumbbell will hit the floor, right? and that is just the maximum I can do. But if I elevate myself, I'm able to go so much deeper with these on. You can obviously, if you don't have this, and obviously if your gym is busy and you don't want to occupy the squat rack and if you don't want to have dirty looks, you can have simply two steppers, two benches, whatever you prefer. And the same thing as I told you before, you lean more forward, you grab a heavy enough weight. Okay, so let's lean forward. And now we descend all the way down, as down as you can. Okay, and come back up, down again, and come back up. The next few exercises that I'm gonna show you are purely isolation exercises. It means they isolate your glutes. And if you generally just don't wanna have to do anything with your legs, these will be probably the most, obviously to a certain degree, you understand that the muscles are attached. So there's always gonna be a certain involvement for your legs but these are generally the ones that will target them the less and they will focus more, the less, <laughs> they will target them less and they will generally focus more in your glutes instead. Glute bias back extension. So in order to, glute, to get your glutes more, you need to get a wider stance. The biggest mistake I see with this exercise is that people tend to keep their back straight and that is okay if you want to target your lower back, but if you want to target your glutes, you want to round your back like I'm doing here and drive the movement with your glutes almost like a reverse hip thrust, pushing your hips against the pad. If the pad is too high for you, then add to plates so that you can elevate yourself and complete the full range of motion like so. Instead of standing there like this with my legs facing completely forward, I kind of just open up, rotate my thighs outward. Now, I also like to maintain a slight bent on my knees rather than have them completely straight. It will happen if you have them straight and too straight all the time when you descend, they'll tend to hurt a lot. So you can have a weight as well to have two things, the band and the weight, which I like to use on my leg days. And do the exact same thing. 
I do this exercise every single time I train legs, no jokes. I do legs three times a week and I do this every single time because it's so good. This also helps to target the side glutes, so gluteus medius and minimus. This is the kind of level that I like to have when I pull this in a 90 degree angle. A lot of people tend to kick backwards like that. They just come like this and they kick back. Okay, that is still glutes, okay? So if you wanna do that, that's fine. But that is your gluteus maximus. It's not any more your gluteus medius and minimus. So rather than kick, rather than kicking laterally, you can kick diagonally, okay? It's a diagonal kick. And as well, I don't want you to come all the way as far as you go. It's a small movement that gets driven by your glutes, okay? See how much I open? I don't go any further than this. Last, but certainly not least for me, yeah? This is one of the exercises that is currently one of my favorites. I always do it as a superset. This is an exercise that you can do everywhere, even at home. In fact, if you want more home exercises, last video that I posted before this is a whole home workout variation of all the best gym glute exercises. So I encourage you to go and watch it. So elbows on the floor, point of contact will be elbows and knee. And I want you to get your legs together almost like in a fetal position, okay? And what we need to do is push your hips towards the ceiling, opening your legs at the same time. How do we do this? Like so, okay? And then come back, making sure that your hips don't touch back the floor and come back again, because it's a constant tension sort of exercise. You will lower your hips, okay? You see I'm lowering, but not letting it touch the floor and then push again. As you get better at this, I recommend using this to make the exercise harder. Fight against the resistance of the band. And if you're a psycho like me, because I like things extra, extra, extra hard, we'll add even more weight on top of it. So weight plus band. Of course, for me, when you do an exercise that you've never done before, it will take you some time to get used to it, especially to learn the form, okay? If you want me to help you, Familia, I, my clients send me videos of how they're performing an exercise and send them videos back to correct the form. I'm there every single step of the way. If you want that kind of assistant where you have someone there that teaches you everything, link down below for one-to-one -one online coaching. But I hope you found this video useful and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time with another video.